Hello students. Today we're going to be looking at my Instagram account and specifically an account that popped up today that I thought would be interesting for you to know about. So this account is called Deep Vegan. You can see it there, deep underscore vegan. This is a young man and he lives in Sweden, but his English is very good. So he writes here, everyone be mourning the victims of 9-11. I'm just over here thinking about all the non-vegan arguments I could use to say it wasn't a bad thing that it happened. Hmm. Life is cruel, get over it. People dying is natural. It's the circle of life. Try telling a lion that it's wrong to kill a zebra. They're already dead. I didn't kill them though. If humans didn't kill each other, they would keep overpopulating and taking over the planet. If we didn't kill each other, a lot of people would lose their jobs. Might makes right. So I can see some sarcasm here. They were killed humanely. At least they got to live. They had a good life though. Their death was quick and painless. God says it's okay. They're just animals. All right, so we're looking again at some of his stuff. This is Deep Vegan. So someone wrote to him, so you don't care about the 20,000 lives that got taken away by some selfish men? You're disgusting. No, I don't care about animal abusers dying. Why would I? A non-vegan dying just means they can no longer continue to torture and mass murder other animals. Like, honestly, give me a valid argument in favor of why I should value the lives of people who go about their lives forcing others to be enslaved, raped, kidnapped, imprisoned, tortured, murdered, just for the sake of their own pleasure and convenience. I guess he's referring to people who murder in the poultry industry, in the egg industry, and also in the fishing industry. If any vegan lost someone they cared about in that event, then I'm sorry for your loss. But in regards to everyone who died in the event, as long as they are not vegan, I don't see why that is a bad thing. You can get triggered by my opinion all you want and go on about how, like, I'm disgusting because I don't care about human lives. But, but honestly, try to give me a valid argument other than they're humans because that isn't an argument. My reason for not valuing the lives of humans is based on logic. I used to care about humans before I went vegan, but then I went vegan, and after a while I realized what egocentric pieces of shit most humans are, which is why I stopped valuing them. And since I don't care about horrible people, people who don't think animals deserve respect, Nazis, homophobes, sexists, you know, all, all the horrible people in this world who just force suffering and death upon others because because they want to because they believe themselves to be superior that is why i don't value the lives of humans anymore because most humans are like that they want others to be forced to suffer and die just because those others were born into a different body than they were and because they derive pleasure and convenience from it Whereas your reason for valuing human lives, correct me if I'm wrong, is based on the fact that they are humans. It's either that or the fact that they are sentient beings. But if that is your argument, then you have to value all sentient beings, Hitler, Nazis, literally everyone included. And if that is how you feel, then that's fine. Like you can be logically consistent with that belief. It's just that I don't feel the same way. I don't judge people who don't value the lives of non-humans, who are to me worth a lot more than humans, as long as you respect them. That is all that matters because you can't choose how you feel. But if you think I am disgusting for not valuing the life of the average human, then you are just saying that I am disgusting because I was born with a brain that works differently from yours. Like, I can't choose how I feel. I can only choose how I act. It's the same for all of us. So all that really matters is whether or not I treat others with respect or not. 
which is exactly what I'm advocating for when I speak up for animal rights. I am telling people that they should treat others with respect. I am not telling people how they should feel. I'm not telling people like, hey, you should value non-human animals at the same level as you value humans. Like, there would be no point in telling someone that because because that person can't choose how they feel about humans versus non-humans, even if there's no logic behind it. But go ahead and tell me I'm disgusting for being born with a brain that functions differently from yours, even though I can do nothing about it. Spoiler alert, I don't care what you think. So here, he says... Or somebody writes, you're taking the piss people died and you think it's okay to say you don't care that they died just because they're not vegan is disgusting. People's families died, mothers, fathers, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wife, you're a sick man. And then he writes here, this animal abuser is proving my point. You literally have no argument. The animals you forced to be tortured and murdered have families too. Whether or not someone has a family or not doesn't determine their worth. These are the words of Deep Vegan. What about all the Nazis who were killed during World War II? They were part of families too. Do you mourn those deaths too? What's disgusting is that people care more about dead oppressors than they do about living victims. Again, we're looking at Deep Vegan's Instagram account. A message from the same person. Well, I'm not going to stop eating because you told me I have to watch the documentary and I, do, I just don't. I'm going to stop. Scan animals. You can't stop me, bitch. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what that means. And then Deep Vegan responds, well, I'm not going to care about humans just because you told me to. You can't stop me, bitch. Oh, boy. All right. So now Deep Vegan is going on. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Just trying to pause it here. He's, and so the other person says to him, but animals don't pay taxes, so they can't do anything. Just because you protest doesn't mean I will stop eating meat. Deep Vegan writes, do you pay taxes? Do babies pay taxes? No? Okay. So then you and all children, other children, should be tortured and murdered, right? Do homeless people pay taxes? Should they be enslaved too? No, because they have no money. Don't be stupid. Just leave me alone. Do your victims have money? Just leave the animals alone, you dumb fuck. The person responds, no, because I have lamb for dinner and can't, I can't wait. So Deep Vegan is still going on in this conversation. It's always so funny. Let's pause it here and try and see. You're the one who says we should respect other people's choices. So you need to let us activists choose to do what we are going to do. You need to shut the fuck up by your own logic. Then the person says, just leave me alone, mate. And then Deep Vegan says, no, leave the animals alone. The person says, don't tell me what to do. Deep and continues, just leave me alone, please. I'm sorry for eating what I want. Just fuck off, you small-minded prick. Deep Vegan responds, Golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated yourself. So I'm going to assume you don't want to be respected since you choose to not respect others. And the person says, fuck off, please. And he says, LOL. Fuck off, you wanker. We're looking at Deep Vegan. It's always account. so funny when non vegan This is on his Instagram account tell me to leave them alone in dms when they are always the one to initiate the conversation they are always the one to send the first message like they look me up on instagram they send me a message defending animal cruelty and then it ends with them telling me to leave them alone. <laughs> oh my god yeah, humans humans just love to victimize themselves in any situation Then he has a post here, stop consuming honey. The problem with honeybees, bee extinction, why we're saving the wrong bees. Interesting, Sweden be safe. 
And then the vegan says, I don't think that's wrong. It's just when you force it on people and not, oh no, I guess this, I guess this is actually a comment from somebody else. It's just when you force it on other people and not them do their thing. That's kind of crossing line. I'm, I'm in full support of veganism. Hell, I think some people in my family are, but at least they stick to what they're doing and let people do their thing. Hmm. What's Steve Vegan going to say now? Nobody is forcing anything on you, animal abuser. The only one who are being forced to do anything are your victims who are forced to suffer and die because you pay for them to be tortured and murder just because you want to. You're not the victim, regardless of how much you want to see yourself as one. The animals are the victim, your victims. You don't support veganism because you're not vegan. That's like supporting the act of respecting gay people while being homophobic. It makes no sense whatsoever. And if you were supportive of veganism, you would think it was a good thing that animal rights activists like myself are trying to convince people to go vegan and calling them out for being animal abusers. But you don't think it's good because you don't support veganism, which is why you want to silence us because you want animals to continue being tortured and murdered needlessly. So this is what happened today on Deep Vegan's post. If you want to follow him, his account is deep underscore vegan. He has 553 followers. And yeah, tell him I said hi. Here are some other things that he posts. He has a TikTok account. Let's see what this is about. None of that had to be done for animals because people have been eating animals from the dawn of time. That is completely irrelevant to whether it is ethical or not. Just because something has been going on for a long time doesn't mean it's automatically justified in any situation. Mm, interesting. Let's keep watching that one. Imagine if black people were still enslaved today and that had been going on since the dawn of time. Would the enslavement of black people then be completely fine? No, it wouldn't be fine, for the same reason that it's not fine to torture and murder animals even though it's completely unnecessary. Appeal to tradition is a fallacy, and you would have to be really dumb to think it's a good argument. I never said I agree with animal cruelty. All I said is I don't agree with racism from white vegans. I hate the way they treat animals in the meat industry, and I really do wish there was a way more ethical way for us to get meat. All I'm saying is I agree with humans eating meat. You don't agree with animal cruelty, and yet you are directly paying people to torture and murder animals for you just because you love chicken nuggets. You don't like how the animals are treated, and yet you keep paying for it because you enjoy it. Here, let me show you how stupid you sound. I don't agree with black cruelty. Like, I hate how black people are treated, and I wish there was a better way for us to enslave black people. All I'm saying is, I'm okay with owning slaves. Yes, you agree with animal cruelty because you directly support it. You passionately defend it. So please, spare me this complete bullshit. Your words don't mean anything when your actions go directly against them. Forcing somebody into a slaughterhouse and slitting their throat just because you're addicted to their flesh, that is animal cruelty. You're literally murdering someone just because you enjoy it. But what you're not going to do is sit here and attack black and indigenous people of color instead of targeting the big corporations. How does that work? Oh, but I am. I am going to call out anyone who supports and defends unnecessary animal cruelty. I am going to defend the animals no matter what. Because they value their lives just like you value yours. And those big corporations, they exist because of you. You literally pay them to torture and murder animals. And guess what they do? They do the exact same thing you do. Instead of holding themselves accountable, they just point the finger at the consumer and be like, Oh, but they're buying it. They're responsible because they're doing something horrible. And you're also responsible because you keep paying them so they can continue doing it. You're like, oh, but target the corporations. And then you're like, here, corporations, take my money. Continue doing what you're doing. It's basic supply and demand. They keep doing what they're doing because you want them to keep doing it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be paying for it. And you can sit there as a white person and tell a native how they should practice their culture and when they should practice their culture after you literally try to erase it. Are you out of your mind? You have no right to do so. Know your place. Yes, I can sit right here and tell you that your culture justifies nothing. That you have no right to oppress others just because it's in your culture. How can you be so self- 
Perfect. Before you click on that comment, no cheating. Guess what color they are. It honestly takes some type of talent to be this tone deaf. Baby, me eating a chicken wing is not the root of all oppression. It's you! It's you! White women have not said anything intelligent since Susan B. Anthony. I know y'all think that's random, but that's legit the only white woman I can remember right now. Why is it that so many of these anti-racist warriors are very racist themselves? Like, you are literally dismissing what people say only based on their physical appearance. And before you say, you can't be racist towards white people because they're not oppressed. It doesn't matter what you call it, it's the same thing. And also, is this supposed to be some sort of flex? Like, <laughs> look at this person. They're against torturing and mass murdering animals. Guess what color they are? White. It's so typical of white people to respect animals. Like, is that supposed to be an insult or something? Are you saying that white people are less egocentric? They care more about the lives of others? They care more about not enslaving, violating, torturing, and murdering others? Because if that's the point you're making, then you're kind of being racist towards yourself. Because having empathy and compassion for animals, being against the oppression of animals, being against the animal holocaust is not a negative thing. But it's also complete bullshit. Because whether someone is black or white is completely irrelevant to whether or not they respect animals. And yes, speciesism definitely is the root of all oppression. We're all taught from birth to respect certain species while enslaving, violating, torturing, and murdering other species by the trillions every single year just because they look different, which is the same mindset as a racist. Your human supremacist mindset is just as bad as a white supremacist mindset. Your belief that other species exist for you to use and abuse however you want is the exact same mindset which allowed white people to enslave black people. White people enslaved black people because they looked different. Just like humans enslave, torture, and murder trillions of animals every single year just because they look different. And you fully support it. Just because it brings you pleasure. Just because it's convenient. Just like owning a black slave was. Non-human animals are by far the most oppressed group of individuals in existence. Nothing we humans do to each other even comes close to what we do to non-human animals. And I just find it sad that you don't realize that your mindset is the mindset of every other oppressor on this planet. Which is that you value yourself so extremely far above everyone who was born different that you don't even think they deserve respect. And guess who also have that mindset? Racists, sexists, homophobes, Nazis, you name it. It all stems from that extremely egocentric, self-assigned superiority. It's just so sad. It's really fucking sad. So this is the Instagram by this guy named Deep Vegan. If you'd like to continue to follow him, you can find him on Instagram under deep underscore vegan. If you'd like to find me, I am that vegan teacher, Miss Katie, all one word. Thanks for being here. Coming up are some other videos you can watch. Feel free to click on them. Be curious. Also, subscribe to this channel if you like. And press the notification bell. Thanks for being here and helping us get animals out of hell.